Hi Calvary, Amber here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at Psalm 67. So it says, May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the people with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. God has used this chapter recently to work in my life, and so I'm very uh, thankful to be able to talk about this with you today. Um, and so we see that God wants to bless us and to be gracious to us, but he does this in his way, and he does this for his praise and glory. See, verse 1 says, May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. But verse 2 gives us the purpose for that. It says that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. See, the purpose for God blessing us is so that other people recognize God's power and know him and praise him for that. And see, God's blessing isn't just for our own benefit. It's for his praise and glory through all the earth. And I just want to take a moment and pause just to clarify if the only way God blessed us and was gracious to us was the fact that he sent Jesus to come to the earth and die on the cross to pay for all of our sins and forgive us so that we could have a relationship with him, that would be enough. Um, if there was no other blessing but that, that would be enough for us to praise him for the rest of our life. And so if you're in a dark place right now, if you're feeling overwhelmed um, or desperate, remember, Jesus saved you. He died to take all of your pain and shame and sin um, because he wants a relationship with you and he loves you um, and you can have hope in him. But amazingly, God didn't just stop there. Um, he did rescue us and save us from our sin, but he wants to bless us more because he wants to work in our life um, so that we can be more and more like him. Um, but we need to remember that God blesses us on his terms and in his way because a lot of the times the way we think we want to be blessed isn't actually for our benefit. See, if I ask God for lots of money, he isn't going to give it to me because he knows that I'm just going to be selfish with that money. Or if I want more fame or success or acknowledgement, he isn't going to give it to me because he knows that it's going to make me arrogant or proud. And so he blesses us in his way, on his terms, that is actually going to benefit our life um, and that makes us more like him and have his character. Um, and so I want to just um, give you a couple examples one from my own life recently, and then one from the book of Judges. And so uh, I recently spent five days in the hospital um, with a pretty severe infection um, and a lot of pain. And um, a lot of people might say, well, how could this horrible thing happen? How bad it was? Or why would God let this happen to you? Um, and I don't think that way at all. And I actually think that's a wrong way of looking at it. Um, and I've never had that thought um, because I wanted to view this through God's perspective. Um, and so I actually see how God used this to bless me um, and to work in my life and to draw me closer to him. And so even though I went through a, a, a lot of difficult times um, in that time, um, I experienced God's presence with me the whole time. I experienced his goodness. I experienced his mercy. Um, his peace. Um, I experienced his strength in my life. I experienced his healing power. I experienced his love through people serving me. Um, and I got to spend five days of intense prayer um, and spending time with Jesus that I wouldn't otherwise have. And that's all blessing in my life. And that's just in my own life. I, I also got to see people seek God in prayer for me. 
Um, I got to experience a friend be able to share the gospel with people because of me being in the hospital and sharing my story with other people. Um, I got to experience other people being able to serve me and my family. And those are all good things and all blessings. Um, and people get to praise God because of his healing work in my life and praise him because I'm better now. Um, and those are all blessings and all good things. And God is gracious and merciful and loving. And because of that, and because of what I went through, like I am praising God. And I actually read Psalm 67 when I was in the hospital. And the first thing I thought of was like, this is what I'm going through right now. Like God is gracious and blessing me and his face is shining on me and I can praise him for that. And other people are praising him for that. Um, and so we can look at difficult times and see how God is blessing us and praise him for that. And we can also see from the people of Israel um, in the book of Judges, they went through this cycle over and over again of rebelling against God, God allowing other nations to conquer them and them being under slavery and difficult times and them recognizing their sin and crying out to God, God answering their cry, sending a judge and saving them and them following God and having peace. And this cycle goes over and over throughout the whole book. But we can see that God allowing the people of Israel to be conquered was an act of grace in their life. Because if God had not sent a neighboring nation to conquer them, the people of Israel would not have recognized their sin and they would have not repented and turned to God. And so that is an act of grace so that he could work in their life and they could repent and follow God and experience that peace in their life. And that's the same and true with us. See, God is working in our life and he is gracious to us and wants to bless us all the time. We just need to recognize how he is working in our life and is loving us and blessing us. So I hope this was an encouragement to you today and I would encourage you to take the time to stop and recognize how God is gracious to you and how he is blessing you in your life. Have a great day, Calvary.